question is from SS Turley. What is the best way to strengthen wrists? I'm looking to learn a handstand, but my wrists give out first. So, so strengthening wrists in the context of this question, which is uh, my wrists hurt when I'm doing, because when you're doing a handstand or push-ups, I've had a lot of clients who talk about how it hurts their wrists or they do yoga yeah. because they're in that like extended, yep. you know, position or whatever. And then they're now applying all this excess of uh, pressure and load. It is. And so it's, this is, strength is a piece of it, um, but to be more uh, specific, this is mobility. Mm -hmm. This has more to do with your wrist mobility. Um, and there's excellent exercises that you could do to improve the connective, the connection to your, your, your wrist range of motion so that you're not relying on the joint. Well, Maps you know Prime Pro addresses this. We, oh, we address even the wrist. I mean, we go through every major joint in the body, and the I actually teach those wrist, wrist exercises that are in Prime Pro to a lot of my clients. A lot of clients that you know sit at desks or on computers, and that when you're in this fixed position and you're typing on a keyboard all day, mm -hmm. you tend to lose that that good mobility in your wrist, especially if you don't use it or do things like Indian clubs or mace swings or stuff like that that kind of challenge your wrist mobility. And you get older, and you've been doing that for years. So it's a and and what ends up happening to a lot of people, they lose the mobility in their wrist, and then it ends up being forearm, elbow pain, and it radiates all the way up their mm -hmm. body. So doing some of those mobility exercises, I don't know if we've done any of that on our YouTube channel. I'm trying to think right now. I don't think we've done wrists. Yeah, I think that would be a great one to uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, make a note. With. Maybe make a note, Doug. We'll do some well, mobility. Well, one, stuff. one um, movement that I really like that we put in Maps OCR. Um, because OCR, obstacle course racing, um, lots and lots of, you oh, need lots of hand strength. And wrist work, and, yeah, yes. like crazy. There's uh, a rice bucket uh, yeah. movement that I think is phenomenal. It's really easy. I can explain it on the podcast. You probably don't even need me to show you, but you get a bucket, um, fill it with rice, stick your hand inside there, and open and close open your, your hand. Fingers, and, yeah. grab some, like smash it down there real good. It's great because it gives you, it provides natural like resistance through the rice, and that's just just enough to get your your stabilizing muscles to stimulate, you know, around your hand it, and wrist. It is now here, and here's another tip. Um, I remember reading this uh, years ago uh, about push-ups. I went through this whole this this stint where I wanted to get really really good uh, at push-ups, and it would it, it would start to bother my wrist. And so what I would have to do is either grip on handles or use get on my fist so that my wrist didn't hurt. I don't want to do that. I'm like, I want to be able to go on my palms. So I was doing some reading and martial artists who, you know, do lots and lots of push-ups have some phenomenal techniques at preventing wrist pain when you're in that position. And one of the things you can do, and it's it's so brilliant and so silly, I, I wish I learned this earlier, was while you're in that position, try to grip the floor. Yeah. No joke. Like pretend like you're gripping the floor and what you're doing is you're activating the muscles that support your wrist, so that you're not just resting on the or, joint on the right. joint itself. Yeah. So you just and you're not you're obviously not going to grip the floor because you can't, mm -hmm. but you just pretend like right. you are gripping that, the floor. and you're actually like trying to push and turn a little bit. That added little bit of rotation there through the elbow a lot of times too helps to activate even more uh, stimulus of uh, support system. Yeah, it's like turning a, uh, like turning two knobs right. while you're gripping the floor, and you'll find that you'll actually get stronger at your push-ups or handstands. And you'll get less pain. And that's why I always speak to rotation. And, the, and uh, FRC does a good job of this too. They're controlled articulating rotational movements for the joint because we're not expressing that all the time. That is a great way to stimulate more of a, of a, of a supported uh, stabilization mechanism. We, we, we're losing that by not expressing that movement. 